the county ground. Yes, and was it only those few weeks back to May the 25th that 10,000 of us went from Swindon to Crystal Palace's ground to see promotion to the second division clinched in that unforgettable playoff win over Gillingham? The final whistle that night marked two successive promotion seasons for Swindon, and the celebrations were suitably long. Today's photo session brought details of as many as 18 pre-season games in a 21-day period. Why so many extra matches, I asked manager Lou Macari. We're in a division which, uh, looking ahead, I think we're going to you know, find it hard to get results that we'd like, get results that we'd have in the third and fourth division, but uh, we're the team that's got there and we've got to obviously attempt to, to do that. Steve Foley, that's an interesting signing. What, what are you looking for him to bring to the, the squad? Goals. <laughs> Plenty of them. Uh, a midfield player who will get in the box uh, and try and score goals. Um, John Kelly, uh, people in Bristol thought he was on the way to Bristol City, but you nipped in and uh, snapped him up, uh, Lou. Uh, I thought it was too good an opportunity to miss 15,000. I thought, uh, I can't let him head to Bristol, I've got to get him here. And Again, someone who would be lively um, on the pitch, and, you know, that's a big help if you've got people that are going to buzz about and, and work hard and, and show a lot of enthusiasm. John Gittins from Southampton? Played in the first division, uh, on and off. And uh, one game in particular where I saw him, he played against Ian Rush, and to be perfectly truthfully, he didn't give Ian Rush a kick. But All around the country, people will note that you're back to work, and Swindon, the side that have won promotion two successive years, can they do it a third? Oh, well, I've got to be a realistic... Uh, and, and say no. Um, we're in with the, you know, we're in with the big boys now. We're in with teams that can afford uh, to go out and buy someone at three hundred thousand. I mean, if we bought someone at three hundred thousand, we'd have to. Well, I don't know. We'd have to. We'd have to, we'd have to put tickets up to ten pound a ticket. We just couldn't do it. Yeah. So why did John Kelly choose Swindon and not Bristol City? Uh, I think the big thing that swung it in the end was the fact that Swindon will be playing in the second division next year, as opposed to Bristol being in the third. Of course, you nearly went to City last season. Yeah, at the time it came up, I wanted to go. I was very keen to go, but Chester turned it down. And uh, at the end of the season, I had talks, and I was still very keen to go. And then uh, Lou McCurry came in later on, and the second division swung it. Well, now you were here in Swindon, and you had a look around the place a bit and seen the squad. What do you think? Well, the squad's big, isn't it? I mean, there's about 24 pros, something like that. They must, obviously, they're uh, very ambitious, and just hopefully they'll start off well for the second division.